Eric Schumacher Rasmussen. I'm the VP and Editor-in-Chief of Streaming Media, and I've been lucky enough to moderate part of the first Northern Waves TV conference here in Oslo. And I've got Ajay Anand, who's the CEO of Norigen, which is the company behind this wonderful event. Hi. Hello, Eric. How's it going so far? Brilliant. It's a very warm day for Oslo. It's 30 degrees. It's a, it's a heat wave. It is. It's a little warm in here. <laughs> the idea of Northern Waves has been content marketing for Norigen, mm -hmm. but it's also been uh, the idea for us to get together the industry. Um, yeah. Talk a little bit more about, about what your goal here is in, in, in putting on an event like this in terms of what it can do for the industry, particularly in Scandinavia, but perhaps even on a broader scale. Exactly. So we start at home mm -hmm. in Norway. Um, the idea of the Industry Festival is, is that we have different types of people who work within the industry, whether it be a technical product, salespeople who together have different ulterior motives of what mm -hmm. they want to get out of it. Uh, putting them all together in one room has, has been a challenge. Right. And then to keep them entertained for a whole day has been another challenge. So this is the reason that we've got really good moderators like yourselves to help us build an agenda that suits all. Um, right. And the reason for it is uh, we, we feel a, la a lack of, of fraternity within the mm -hmm. industry where everybody should be wanting to meet each other. We work a third of our lives and I mm -hmm. think I'm just trying to make it fun. Right, right. And, and you know, we all attend big events like NAB or IBC and you know, a smaller event like this one has the advantage of bringing everyone together and we're all together for the whole day. And right. so you know that the person you saw speak at nine o'clock in the morning is still going to be there at lunch and you'll be able to have a conversation with them over the course of a day and really build a relationship. I've met a company that does exactly what we do mm -hmm. in, in Germany and there is nothing awkward about meeting another company exactly like ourselves. You can choose to call them a competitor mm -hmm. or you can choose to call them colleagues right. and I, 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 I treat them as colleagues and I think that's the difference between what we're trying to do here versus what we do in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what we're telling the industry as well, compete where you need to, right. coordinate where you have to. Uh, and that's the whole point of Northern Waves, which means let's not compete on trying to say my HD quality is better than your HD quality right. because HD is HD. Right, right. And, it, you know, for me, one of the things I really enjoyed about the event is that it really does bring together the technology side and the business side in a way that acknowledges that neither one can exist without the other. And so there needs to be that cross understanding. You know, uh, streaming media covers a lot of technology. Uh, and it's often dealt with in a bubble where, you know, the, the, the great video quality that you might get out of a particular encode or a particular codec doesn't matter if it doesn't serve the business needs. Exactly. And so it's, uh, it's uh, I, my hat's off to you for putting together uh, an event that brings those communities together. Thank you so much because for me, technology is wonderful, it evolves, but by definition, it becomes stale and redundant within six months. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a business need for us to maintain that uh, the, the equal, equality between having a uh, business side of angle of things as well as a technology angle, simply because one does not outdo the other, right. because one serves the other as well. Right. And, you know, another area where uh, collaboration and cooperation needs to happen is between broadcast and OTT uh, companies, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's not an either or uh, proposition. These companies are going to coexist and work together. And in some cases, the same companies are doing all of these things. Um, but nonetheless, uh, OTT and streaming video carry with it different opportunities and different challenges. What do you see as the biggest opportunities right now that, that streaming video and OTT uh, have to, to look at? Oh, it's a multifaceted question, <laughs> Eric. Sure. Uh, but in, in terms of um, uh, broadcast and OTT, mm -hmm. to address that first, uh, it's not one or the other. One becomes the other. Mm -hmm. um, 50 years from now, people will be looking at a, a broadcast network and seeing what they do with it and trying to figure out what they do with it right. because it probably wouldn't exist because I'm sure the, the networks would be strong enough to broadcast mm -hmm. internet delivery um, and video quality that's necessary to reach the, the 10 billion people that would yeah. be there at that point in time. But I think 
having the industry understand that. Today, the broadcast industry is 90% of the industry. OTT is but a fragment. Uh, Norwegian Media does only OTT, so we obviously look at OTT as our bigger part of the world, right. and we've chosen to concentrate on it. It does not ridicule or diminish the value of broadcast, but we just see that there is no difference from a bigger perspective. The industry is television, mm -hmm. whether be it broadcast, unicast, streaming, OTT, video on demand, or live TV, it is a consumption of audiovisual quality content, which basically is entertaining people, whether be it entertainment, live sports, news. This is the bigger picture that we're trying to portray. OTT is but a business model. Sure. And at the end of the day, the consumer doesn't care. They just want to get the content and the stories and the news they want Precisely. in the most user-friendly way possible. And they don't care whether it be it watching it on their iPad or, or watching it on their TV, which many of us don't have. Today, I don't have a television set at home. Really? And I don't, and I haven't watched TV in 10 years, but because of my mobile phone and because of my tablets, I know what content there is and I can access it wherever I want. It doesn't mean that I don't know what TV is because right. the meaning of TV still remains the same. The channel that it uses to deliver has changed. Right, right. So uh, looking ahead a bit, uh, as I said earlier, this is the inaugural Northern Waves TV conference. What do you hope this conference turns into in the years to come? Um, the conference, yes, it's inaugural is a, is a beautiful word because I want to do a lot more with it. Uh, getting, to, getting together a hundred people in a room of different levels and different roles has, has, has not been as easy as I thought it was. Mm -hmm. um, what I want to do is, uh, are two things. Uh, to create the industry, I'd like to first of all make sure that people like being here. So we're trying to introduce different elements to it. First of all, a multitude of agenda topics, mm -hmm. whether it be a technical, business, product, etc., cetera, um, to make it fun. Uh, we have a bit of entertainment in the afternoon. Right. Um, you, if you were to sing, Eric, I would have made you sing in, on, on stage as well. But that the idea maybe, is... Maybe next time. Maybe next year. <laughs> we, 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 we make sure that you have right. some sort of a, a talent. Sure. Because it's, it's not about your profession, it's about Eric as well. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to get to you know you, and that's the whole point, that we don't want to get to know people for who they are. Um, in the afternoon, we have uh, some bubbles and jazz mm -hmm. uh, for this hot weather we need it. We right. have a DJ coming in, we have a world champion accordion player coming in. And, and the idea is to make it fun enough that when I call people over for a smaller Northern Waves uh, quarterly event mm -hmm. in Oslo, um, people show up. People, uh, they don't have to watch 15 keynote sessions, right. but they can watch one. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten the, uh, uh, the leaders of some of the companies to agree that they will send one of, of, of their uh, staff members to come and speak from different parts, whether mm -hmm. it be a project manager or a product manager, just to say what they're doing and to share the work that they're doing to their industry colleagues and so that we can, we can engage the industry together. And then we try to see what we want to achieve beyond that. Let's, let's just try to get them together right. first, and that's the right. goal. Well, thank you so much for putting on this event, and I uh, hope to see more in the future. And thank you for coming all the way, Eric. <laughs> thank you very much, Andrew. Cheers.